Hey y'all, so I'm jumping in and my eyebrows are already done and my skin is primed. So I'm just taking those light, lightest two shades in my Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to use that to highlight underneath my brow. I know there's such a big difference when I do it, so it's been my new go-to thing. I love doing it and I don't think that I'm ever going to stop. So taking that light brown shade now, I'm going to use that to just buff it in, <laughs> well not in my crease, above my crease because because of my eyelids and the way they fold, I have to basically create a new eye socket or like an eye crease. So I have to go over everything so that they don't get lost. Now taking the orange shade in the Morphe 35O, this is I believe the top shade, sorry I didn't show it to you guys. But it's the top shade on the um, the last row. I'm going to use that just a little underneath that brown shade. And this is all a part of building that new crease and creating that dimension in the eye. I'm just going to buff that out and make sure that it's blended. For the next shadow... So now that I'm happy with the desired color, I'm going to take that darker orange shade in the same Morphe 35O palette and I'm just going to, again, go right over that orange shade. Just keep going a little lower to help me build that crease line. I want, I want to do talk through videos, like I want to do like a chit chat get ready with me video so bad. But I talk so goddamn much in these videos. When it's time for me to edit, it's just like, Janine, no, you have to cut some of these out. Because I would be rambling on for, for days if you let me. And the video will be an hour long. And I know you guys don't want to see an hour long video from me yet. So we're just going to keep it cute. Mute everything and do voiceovers from right now until I learn how to speak less. Okay? Okay. So still going in with that orange shade, well now the brown shade, I'm using that rust, that beautiful rusty brown shade and I'm going to use that just right, you see right where that fold is, I'm going to just pop that right above there. And that's going to help give that dimension of like a defined crease. I wish I had defined sockets like I think it would make my life a little easier but it's all a learning game it's all a learning practice you know the more you do it the better you get at it so I'm understanding my eyes more and more and how to create different looks with it because I never understood before why cut creases did not work for me because they kept getting lost in that stupid fold So going back and forth, I'm just popping that rusty brown color right above where that flap usually is. And I'm taking that beautiful warm, I want to say it's a, cop, a shimmery copper color. I'm using my finger because I like how this color um, applies better with your finger. You can really pack it on. So I'm just going to pack that on with my finger just to get it down on my lid. And then I'll take a brush and... A little bit of mixing medium so that it will really pop and I'll just def clean it up a little more I think these colors together are so pretty they're so pretty together I love them love you like cook food so now that I'm happy with the look, I'm going to bring the camera back and start my face. So on my face, I have already primed 
moisturize and I use milk of magnesia because I'm extremely oily and this is the only thing that I know that keeps me matte all day if you guys have any products that keep you matte all day please let me know because nothing works like this um, as you can see I'm using two different foundations the first one is the Clinique um, two-in-one foundation and I think this is golden neutral or neutral golden and the sec the darker foundation is from black radiance it's in the color brownie I have to mix it too because I'm in between complexions at the moment I'm in I'm in between summer and winter so to get to get my desired shade I have to mix them up a little bit as you can see it's kind of like right on Except for my, my light skin scalp. I just got my my side saved and I obviously didn't get no sun in there. So they're real light skin. It's a real light right now inside my scalp. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun. That's my ROD. I'm just gonna use that to highlight my face. And I'm also going to, on top of that, you're going to see me add a little bit of the Maybelline Con Fit Me Concealer in 25. I just like to put a few stripes, not, not a lot, just a few stripes over that. So when I blend that out, you might see this part. And I'm using my Beauty Blender. This is so worth it, $20. It's so worth it. Like, I don't know. I've tried di different sponges. I've tried different brushes. And nothing works like that beauty blender. This is the Dark Cocoa from the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. This is a new thing that I'm doing. I never used to contour my nose. But, listen. As you progress as a makeup artist, you learn new ways to do your makeup, new tricks and new tips and how to make things work for you. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> there goes that that made me fit me concealer. I finally bust it out. So um, this is also a new step that I've been taking because my eyelids tend to be a little creepy underneath. I heard if you let it set for a little while and then you take your finger and you smooth out the wrinkles you can now set it with your powder so that basically the powder doesn't fall right into the wrinkles. It kind of smoothens out your under eye. So like that really works and I've been liking that step because no one wants creasy under eyelids. This is the Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm using that to set my face as always. This powder is bomb. Now I'm just pressing in that powder. Sometimes I bake and I let it sit or sometimes I brush it off right away. Today I guess I decided to press it in and I'm using my Black Radiance pressed powder in Rich Mahogany and I'm going to use that to contour out my cheekbones. I'm also going to take that around my jaw and my forehead. For this, I'm using my Ruby Kisses Baked Bronzer and I think it's called Glow All Day and I'm just going to apply that right over the contour. It gives you a beautiful like sun-kissed warm look. It's a, it's a bronzer. It's not light enough to be a highlight. It just gives your skin that, a, a little glow. So I like that. taking my NYX favorite blush of all time. This is the blush in Cinnamon. I'm going to use that. It's an orange colored blush and I think that it works great for brown skin and, and darker skin. I love how it just gives that little I don't say I don't, I don't, I don't want to say a bronze look but it just gives you that nice warm blush feeling like it brings some color back into my face. And now I'm just taking the sleek 
Hi, um, contour kit. This is in the dark shade and they have a gold highlight in there so I like to put that on first. I, I always layer highlights so this is my first highlight. It's the golden one. And when I finish that highlight, I'm going to layer it with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And if I'm feeling sassy on that day, which I think I was feeling sassy on this day, I use Artist Couture Diamond Glow Power in Conceited. So I'm prepping my eyes right now for some lashes. This is the Makeup Forever Mascara. I don't know that if there's a name on it. I don't have it with me right now, but I got this for my birthday from Sephora. It's nice. It's a little, it's a little wand with a big old brush. Now I'm just going to smoke underneath my eye, basically using the same colors that I use for my crease, I'm going to use it for my eye. This is the Jordana Eyeliner in, I think this is Sage. Um, I know you're wondering why I'm using a green liner, but you're going to see if you haven't already saw the thumbnail. <laughs> Which I'm sure you have, so this is pointless. <laughs> so going in with Jeffree Star's Dirty Money. All I want is Dirty Money. Yay! This is... This is a weird shade of green. It's not your typical... It does remind you of money. It's like... A, it's like the, the actual, the lightest green on the dollar bill. It's a nice color. I haven't worn in a while. I haven't worn any of my Jeffree Star products in a while. And I'm like, listen, I paid a lot of money for these lipsticks. And I don't want them to just go to waste because of everything. Even though, you know, I no longer support Jeffree Star in that sense, you know. I still decided to wear it because, like I said, I have so many colors. So... These are my Queen Bee lashes, my favorite. As you can see, I lined, I did a quick, uh, not a quick, like a thin line on my eyelids for liner. I didn't do anything thick, no wing liner. Just something to help me guide that lash band. And I'm gonna put those lashes on. These are my favorite lashes. See how they just make everything just pop already? These lashes are just pop. These are the Queen Bee from Coco Lashes. And I just love how the copper plays with the, with the green lips. I really like this look. I wore this look out and I got so many compliments. This is some of the This Mahogany is going to go over my nose contour a little bit. So this is the look with the green lips, the copper eyes. So here, me rambling, I'm telling you that I'm giving you another lip option, which is I wanted to see how the um, copper eyes would look with red lips. Since, since we're in that like fall, getting ready to go into Thanksgiving and going to Christmas, I wanted to give you guys another option. Because not everyone, of course, is going to wear green lipstick outside. So I'm going to try now red. I'm using my Jordana Cabaret lip liner and I'm going to line my lips. I always like to use a dark plum liner when I do red lips. It just works best for me. And to define that cupid bow, I like to do an X on my lip and go over it. That's like my guide. take my time when I'm doing my lips because I like them to be very clean and precise so the first run I'm using this is cherry blossom by colored rain you guys know this is my favorite 
lip liquid lipstick brand company whatever they're my favorite I love their formula so this is cherry blossom and it's more of a blue toned red and because the eyes are so warm and on the orange side I decided to layer it with vanity rain because that's more of an orange red and the two together was like it was dynamic those two reds made together made the perfect perfect red I, I couldn't get over it look how beautiful that is look at that red it's so vibrant and when it dries down it gets even better <laughs> I really love this look and I like how they looked how it looked with both of the lip colors and I hope you ladies enjoy. Thanks again for watching.